So a day after Basuraj Bommai took oath as the Chief Minister of Karnataka, speculation is rife over who will get a berth in Bommai's cabinet. What exactly will Team Bommai look like? So those are the questions right now and what seems to be clear at this point is that some of the old guard will in fact be removed. Speculations are rife on who will be dropped and India today has learnt that uh, BGP will put the focus on bringing young and fresh, fresh faces into the cabinet. Uh, several ministers reportedly in the Yadirapa cabinet are likely to face the axe. Deputy Chief Minister K.S. Ishwarappa, former minister Jagdish Shetta, who's also served as the Chief Minister, Sashikala Jole, Kota Srinivas Pujari, MPB Nagaraj, Sriman Patil, K. Gopalaya and R. Shankar are likely to be dumped. K. Purnima, Sunil Kumar, Muniratna, Raju Gauda and P. Rajiv are likely to be made ministers. <laughs> Karnataka gets a new boss. Lingayat leader Basavraj Bumai sworn in as the 23rd chief minister of the state amid loud cheers and symbolism. The brief oath event with just the chief minister being sworn in was attended by BJP stalwarts including Bomai's predecessor and mentor B.S. Yadurappa and central observers. Just before going onto the stage, Bomai touched B.S. Yadurappa's feet seeking his blessings. The new chief minister is close to B.S.Y. who is believed to have put his stamp of approval on the change of guard. His overjoyed family, which attended the oath event, had a special Kannad song to mark the occasion. The new chief minister is ready to hit the ground running. Quite confident that I'll be able to uh, do my respons uh, responsibility uh, with all efficiency. Okay. Do you think it's your plans to be the cabinet and what sort of decisions will be done on the deputy chief ministers for the state? Yeah, that will be all discussed with the... Party High Command. Okay. Sir, would you think the Durapa's blessing be a support for you? Certainly. He has been blessing me all along. And he has uh, blessed me in, uh, yesterday also, today also. I had been to his residence. He has blessed me. So his blessing is a great strength. After the transition, Prime Minister Narendra Modi congratulated the new Chief Minister and also hailed the contribution made by the former Chief Minister Yadurappa. Earlier, Bomai began his day by offering prayers at Bhagwan Sri Maruti Temple in Bengaluru. Before heading to Yadurappa's residence to meet him and central observer Dharmendra Pradhan. The task for the new chief minister is cut out with flirts and Covid being the two immediate challenges at hand. See, well, one thing I'll tell you, Mr. Uh, our leader, uh, Honorable Edurappa, has been involving me in all decision making as far as COVID and uh, other uh, pandemic is concerned. So, uh, I'm, I'm very well uh, now well equipped and uh, I'll take, you, take forward all the measures they have taken. Amid the very fast task, the new Chief Minister is undertaking a trip to Delhi to meet BJP Chief JP Nadda and other central leaders. It was just the chief minister who took oath today as the new cabinet is yet to be finalized. But we have learnt that the party is planning to change two of the three deputy chief ministers in order to balance caste equations so that all the crucial caste groups get a representation in the Bombay cabinet. With video journalists Madhu, Shivmurthy and Divyan, along with Nagarjun, Nabila and Pramod, this is Nolan Pinto for India Today.